A man used to work at temple and his job was to clean the temple. Priest would give him small amount of donation made by devotees at temple as pay for his work. He was very upset with his life because he was very poor and had a hard life. While working in temple, he used to complain to God about his life all the time. One day, while looking at the idol, he said to God, How easy is your life? You get to stay there comfortably in one place. Look at me, what a difficult life I am living. I work hard throughout the day just to get enough food to get by. I wish my life was like yours. Just then, he heard a voice coming from idol. God said, It is not what you are thinking. My life is not easy at all. I have to look after a lot of things and make many arrangements. It's not something that anyone can do. What are you saying? Like you, I too can stand here all day long. What's the big deal in it? Replied man. Voice replied, You won't be able to do it. This work requires a lot of patience. I can do it. Just let me live one day of your life. Man insisted. God agreed and said, Okay, today you live my life, but I have a condition. Man replied, I am ready to accept every condition. God said, Listen carefully. Many people will come to the temple throughout the day and say a lot of things to you. Some will say good to you. Some will say bad. You have to listen to everyone with patience and still not react to them. Condition is that you can't say anything. Whatever happens, you just have to stay still. Man agreed. And for rest of the day, God and servant exchanged their life. Servant went inside, stand at idol's place. And God started working in man's place. And when work was done, God left from there. After some time, a rich man came in temple and prayed to God. He said, I am setting up a new factory. Please bless me that this factory runs well and I can make good profit out of it. After praying, he bowed down and at that moment, his wallet fell down. When rich man was leaving, servant of temple who was standing in God's place felt like telling him about his wallet. But he kept quiet because of condition to keep silent. Soon after this, a poor man came and said to God, I am very poor. I don't have money to feed my family and I have to arrange medicine for my ill mother. I don't understand how I can handle all this. Oh God, please help me and arrange some money for me. When he was about to leave after praying, poor man saw that wallet. He picked up the wallet and said, Thank you God, you heard my prayer so quickly. With this money, I can buy food and medicine. Man who was in God's place saw this and wanted to tell him that this wallet belonged to a merchant and God has not given it to him. What he is doing is stealing, but he was compelled to remain silent. Just then, third person came to temple who was a sailor and was going on a sea voyage for 15 days. He came to pray to God for safe journey and return. While he was praying, rich merchant came there with police. Seeing sailor, he told police he had come to temple after me. Surely he must have stolen my wallet. You arrest him. Even when sailor said that he didn't steal anything, police arrested sailor and was taking him away. Man who was standing at God's place couldn't bear this injustice in front of him. But he couldn't speak because of the condition. But he felt that if he keep quiet now, it would be wrong. So he broke his silence and voice came from God's idol. You are taking wrong person away. Wallet was not stolen by sailor, but by poor man who came here before him. I have seen everything. Now, how can one not listen to God? Listening to this, police released sailor and caught that poor man who had taken wallet. When God came back to temple in the evening, the man who was standing at God's place narrated whole day account with pride, saying, 
how he prevented injustice to a person hearing his words god said what have you done i told you to stand silently as an idol by speaking you have ruined my whole plan that rich man had earned so much money by doing bad deeds if poor man had got some money out of that he could have lived well and merchant sin would also be reduced a bit sailor who went on sea voyage will not be able to come back alive because a big storm is coming in sea if he had been arrested and had been in jail for few days he would have lived at least hearing this servant realized that he was only able to see what was in front of him and couldn't see the reality behind all of that whereas god considered every aspect of life makes his plan and runs lives of everyone if we see in our life we will find that we cannot understand god's plan when something wrong happens to us or something is not happening according to us we lose our patience and start blaming god in difficult times we need to keep patience by keeping faith in god if something is not happening by your will then it means that it is happening by will of god if you understood the message then do subscribe this channel thanks for watching stay blessed